Yo, what is going on guys? This Sunday is WWE Extreme Rules, a Raw exclusive pay-per-view. Today, we're going to be going over the main matches and we're going to predict the winners of each match. First match is Rich Swan and Sasha Banks versus Noam Dar and Alicia Fox. I'm not even going to pretend I know who these men are. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Divas are making this match worth watching. But it appears this match should definitely be on the total D Divas pay-per-view, not the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, by the way the promo for the match sounds. And I think Sasha and that other guy come out on top on this one. Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. These two have had a little rivalry going on all the way back to WrestleMania. With this being Austin Aries' third chance to win the title, it leads me to question whether they just don't have any other Cruiserweight they feel can fight for the title or if indeed this is just a good rivalry between the two men. I think being his third chance at the title though, Aries will end up pulling this match off for the victory. The Hardy Boys versus Sheamus and Cesaro for the tag titles. Again, a rivalry that's been going on for a long time now, almost to the point where you could say it is getting stale. But nonetheless, we should be in for an exciting match by the Hardys. They could, quite frankly, steal the show with their high-flying ability, but I've talked about it before. You have to question how long the Hardys will stay a tag team and don't go to singles. Sheamus and Cesaro have been the lead runners for the titles. I can see this match having the Hardys at the top of the cage and jumping off of the cage instead of actually winning the match and thus costing them the match and making Cesaro and Sheamus our new tag team champs. Alexa Bliss versus Bayley for the women's championship. Alexa Bliss, my girl, a little biased here. But I feel like she has been at the top of the women's division for the past few months now. And in a no DQ match, you have to think that Nia Jax has an impact on this match resulting in Alexa Bliss getting the victory. Then the main event, Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt versus Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins. This is a star studded match if there ever was one for the current Raw roster. The winner gets a title shot versus Brock Lesnar. So let's break this down. It seems very unlikely WWE would put a small guy up against Brock Lesnar. That would eliminate Balor and Rollins. I think WWE has hinted at Rollins v Roman Reigns as a rivalry after last Monday, leaving us with Bray Wyatt and Samoa Joe. As much as I want to see WWE give Joe a push, Bray Wyatt is riding a lot of momentum right now and is and is a fun superstar to both listen to and watch. And I think it would be crazy for WWE not to realize that. And besides, someone has to talk on the match in this rivalry, am I right? And it won't be Brock Lesnar. So I am saying Bray Wyatt wins this match. Those are my predictions. Would love to hear yours. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.